early 2000s, uh, we have seen an increasing number of unauthorized and or unidentified aircraft or objects in military-controlled training areas uh, and training ranges and other designated airspace. Reports of sightings are frequent and continuing. We attribute this increase in reporting to a number of factors, including our work to destigmatize reporting, an increase in the number of new systems such as quadcopters and unmanned aerial systems that are in our airspace, uh, identification of what we can classify as clutter, mylar balloons and other types of, uh, of air trash, and improvements in the capabilities of our various sensors to detect things in our airspace. Almost two years ago in August of 2020, Deputy Secretary of Defense Nordquist directed the establishment of the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force within the Department uh, of the Navy. The UAP Task Force was built on the foundation of the Navy's initial efforts to respond to the reports from our aviators on unidentified objects observed in our training ranges. here uh, is an um, uh, aircraft that is uh, operating in a, uh, uh, in a U.S. Navy uh, training range uh, that has observed a uh, spherical object uh, in that area. Uh, and as they fly by it, they take a video. You see a, um, it looks uh, reflective in this video, somewhat reflective, uh, and it quickly passes by uh, the cockpit of the, uh, of the aircraft. Is this one of the phenomena that we can't explain? I do not have an explanation for what this, this specific uh, uh, object is. I would, I would caution, I would simply say that there are a number of, uh, of events in which we do not have an explanation, in which the, and there are a small handful in which there are flight characteristics or signature management um, that we can't explain with the data that we have. Uh, and, and if you're able to answer this uh, in this setting, are we aware of any uh, foreign adversary capable of moving objects uh, without any discernible means of propulsion? Um, I think I would, uh, without discernible means of propulsion, I would say that uh, we're not aware of any adversary that can move an object without discernible means of propulsion. So God always sends angelic beings to warn the world. He said, I believe that these angelic beings in the earth today are warning the world of judgment to come.
I could go a little bit on your flying saucer here just for a few minutes, but I won't take that much time. But anyhow, did you notice before the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, which is a perfect thing of today, God sent angels down there to call Lot out? Is that true? Amen. Look here, it says, sign in heaven, while they've wondered, even the Pentagon, you see it not long ago, all this year flying saucer stuff, they wondered what it was all about. They can't make it out yet. It's an invisible force almost. It comes down there, and yet it's, it's, it's intelligent. It'll, now, I'm not a flying saucer, man. All this year nonsense has been told about that. That's, that's nothing to that. Don't you believe that? But there are signs. Amen. Exactly. Why is it hanging right over the Pentagon? Why is it right over Washington where they're seen all the time, constantly even yet? We'll come to that after a while. See if they didn't say, as it was in the days of Noah. So will it be in the coming of the Son of Man. That's right. See, the world don't know what that is. You know, you know it's all. We know what it is. We know it's investigating judgment angels. You see, how at the Pentagon, all about how it comes right down to the intelligence, how they go like a flash and be gone, pull away from anything they got. See, they don't realize what it is. See, let them think whatever they want to. They call it flying saucers or whatever. They don't know. 